previously on the association Boston Celtics. After seven months away from the game, starting center Kendrick Perkins finally made his return. Ray Allen etched his name into NBA lore. And Ray Allen is the all-time three-point shooting champion. And at the All-Star break, the Celtics took center stage. Rondo whips a pass under to Allen. Ray Allen scores. Yo, 11 All-Star game. It's been real. See y'all in the finals. the NBA regular season is a journey, the Boston Celtics were more than halfway to their destination. All right, Eddie. All-Star weekend over. Back to business. After sending four players to the All-Star game, the Eastern Conference leaders reunited in the Bay Area for the start of a four-game road trip out west. You see them dinosaurs back there? Look at those, look at those dinosaurs back there, the old guys. Ray and Paul, look how they just come, like they've been here before. Every time we get a chance to step on the road, I mean, we love it as a group because we like being around each other. I think this is some of the best team camaraderie I've had probably since college. When you go on long road trips, I think the bonding is probably more imperative than anything. The urgency to, to lean on one another, we need to talk, we just need, you know, some support. A sense of brotherhood, I think that's what the road trip brings. Fortunately for the Celts, they had an off day before their game with Golden State. That free time allowed for some one-on-one -on -one bonding between Ray Allen and Coach Doc Rivers. What's the distance? It's a long way. No. Four. Five. Six. Seven. I had to make sure it was going where I needed to go. Okay, you want another shot? No. Uh, he gets one. The adventure begins. First hole. I'm in the fairway, looking good. The question is, it's not how you drive, it's how you arrive. I like when Ray gets out here more than me. I just think it's good for him. I think it's good therapy for him. You, know, you can't play basketball all day, every day, so. No, no. See, Doc is... He's struggling right now, I got him. He's gonna start getting inside his own head, and then the ball's gonna start going everywhere. Oh, Lord. I didn't see that coming, Ray. Right? It's easy to see how team chemistry makes the Celtics special. It's their ability to blend different styles. Whether it's the playful nature of Nate Robinson, or the serious tone of Ray Allen. This team reflects a wide range of rhythms and routines. I mean, there's so many little things that factor into a player's ritual. It can come down to the littlest of things. What bus you ride, what cologne you wear, what you eat for your pregame meal, what time you get to the gym. For myself, you know, I like to eat peanut butter and jelly sandwich like 55 minutes before the game. About 12, 13 p.m. by jelly is laid out everywhere on the road and at home, in the training room before every game. Now, people, some people eat them, some people don't, but they're finished before the game is over. Though individual approaches may differ, 
One tradition all Celtics share is a commitment to winning. Let's go, let's go. Although center Shaquille O'Neal was back home rehabbing an injury, the Celtics were as healthy as they'd been in months, and it was time to get serious again. Nice. Roll, Sidney, roll. season out well. We got 28 games left, fellas. We know where we're trying to go. <coughs> this team right here, they don't belong on the same floor with us. And y'all know that. So we go out here and play. We got to do it. We got to take the confidence early. Ain't no more talking about it. Ain't no more talking about it. We're going to do this. Celtics! Hoorah! Celtics! Hoorah! Celtics! Hoorah! One, two, three. What we going to do then? After an easy win at Golden State, the seas were now in Denver. With a few hours to kill before morning shoot around, many of them used the time to catch up on their lives. When we first came in, we was on the other side of that wall. But now we're up on the back side. How many bedrooms? This one has three. But it can be made to have four. Was that the master bedroom? Master bed. Very, very big. The Nuggets were finishing up their shoot around. They had just traded their superstar, Carmelo Anthony, to the New York Knicks. Denver's new additions would be making their debut against the Celtics. But Boston felt little need to make adjustments. We played the Knicks. We know who they are. And we played uh, these guys once, so we know who they are. It doesn't matter, we're gonna run our same defense. Anyway, it's not like we're gonna change our defense. We'll never change our defense. The Celtics game plan was set, but there was an uneasy feeling in the gym. The trade deadline was only hours away. Regardless of status on the team or in the league, it's an anxious time for every NBA player. That's probably the most difficult thing about this business. Uh, you know, you're usually happy when things don't happen and you let, let it pass. Every hour counts when it get close to the deadline and it's like, man, you know, uh, hopefully it's not me because, you know, you develop a relationship with a bunch of guys and kind of don't follow through. The Celtics did some deals today, and they're, you know, an elite team. What's going on with Boston? Celtics moving a core contributor in Kendrick Perkins to Oklahoma City. He's a guy who I think had been healthy last year. They, they win the mm -hmm. NBA Finals. I finals. totally agree. I've heard the Celtics talk for two years about if we had our starters intact and healthy. And now it seems they can do that because Kendrick Perkins is healthy and back in the lineup. And then they ship Perkins out. Included in Perkins' carry-on is Nate Robinson, who tweeted, quote, wowzers. The NBA is a business, so you can't be mad. You will surprise them? Huh? You will surprise them? No, I would never be surprised about anything. Not especially mm -hmm. in the league, especially with the trades and everybody else is doing. Can't be surprised, can't be too surprised. You know, with Perk, he's taking it pretty hard because, you know, he's, he's been here eight years. You know, he was really emotional, crying. You know, I mean, I, I, I felt bad for him. You know, he's a soft giant, man. He has a good heart. He's a good person. I told him he's not alone. We're going there together. Nate Robinson seemed ready to move on. But as the game against the Nuggets approached, the shock of the trade was just beginning to sink in. We traded a player, but we traded one of our family members. 
you just don't get by that. You don't just wipe that away and go play basketball. Well, we, we have to tonight anyway, and I have no idea how we'll be. guys you spend every day with, you eat every meal with, and you become so close with, and all of a sudden, that's it. They're gone, and it's, it's really shocking. The Nuggets handing the Celtics one of their worst losses of the year. A very long day's journey into night. Tough day. You got to dig deep. There's no words that can really describe the emotion that you feel, but I know he was, you know, this person's a tough guy. Uh, he he was very emotional, you know, like he couldn't get the words out that he needed to, to get out. But People underrate what chemistry brings. Uh, you know, we had, this is one of the tightest units, one of the most uh, together teams that you could probably think of, especially since we've been together for so many years. We hope uh, Danny and Doc know what they're doing. I've been in this business a long time, and that was the toughest one for me by far, for me and Perk. You know, it's funny, I don't know if we looked at it in the basketball terms. We almost looked at it in the father-son in the relationship terms. It's the, the signature of what you were and you stood by, and, and now, you go into Boston, the defensive prowess isn't there. I was uh, just getting to my room, got a call from my agent, uh, said that the deal was done. Uh, you know, it was very shocking to me. So, you know, once I found it was done, I, you know, kind of broke down in tears. It's just a love, you know, it's a genuine love for each other all over. I don't consider these guys as teammates. I consider these guys as brothers. You know, I don't consider the coaches as coaches. I consider them as fathers to me. You know, I'm just happy that I had a chance to play with Hall of Famers and being a part of the Celtic history. The Celtics have dealt away Kendrick Perkins, all right, let's get to the phone calls. We'll get your reaction. We're going to get some people on. All right, so we'll start the wine line. All right, here's Steve in Worcester. Hi, Steve. Hey, what's going on, How guys? Are you, Steve? I'm not doing good. This is ridiculous. I can't wait to hear what Ainge has to say. I mean, Perk was our future. He's our future big man. He's made to play in Boston. I just don't get it. Here's a TJ down in the Cape. Hi, TJ. You know, if you're going to build for the future, are you going to build for the championship? I mean, wouldn't you think that Perkins, I mean, do you need somebody big down the middle? Bob and Waltham. Hey, Bob. My first instinct is kiss the season goodbye, and I hope I'm wrong. With fans back home in Boston still reeling from the aftermath of the trade, the Celtics were 3,000 miles away in Los Angeles to face the Clippers. It was day six of their road trip, and the key piece in the Perkins deal, Jeff Green, would join the team. When I got that call, I mean, it was mixed emotions. Things have been, you know, just speeding by. I uh, really haven't had the chance to really just, you know, take a breath. I'm sitting on a bed in San Antonio uh, watching ESPN, uh, the whole trade deadline series, and uh, they told me I've been traded to Boston. The Boston Celtics select Jeff Green. Green's relationship with the Celtics actually goes back to the day he entered the league. But Boston was looking to win a championship right away. I've been traded already in the NBA. First day, announcement that Ray